Let's do things a little differently in this video. I want to show you a push-up done incorrectly first, so take a look. Now, by the time you get to the middle of the video, you should know exactly why it's not done right. But for now, let's get started with this question. You ever wonder what would happen if you started incorporating push-ups as part of your daily routine? I'll tell you up front, it's all good things. So many that your body will completely change when you start doing push-ups on a regular basis. The push-up is one of the best straightforward exercises to develop your upper body because it targets multiple muscle groups. And when it's done every day, you'll experience increased strength and other benefits such as preventing bone loss and maintaining weight loss. But we'll talk about these two benefits in a minute. And if you stay to the end, I'll share some push-up variations and tips you may not even be aware of. And as an added bonus, subscribers to the channel that leave a comment about their favorite part of the video will be placed in a drawing for an Amazon gift card. Push-ups increase muscle strength and size. If there's one thing everybody knows about push-ups is the fact that it builds upper body strength. When you do push-ups on a regular, it isn't just your chest that benefits, but also your triceps, your shoulders, your core muscles, and your lat muscles. Although push-ups seem like a simple movement, this exercise requires great stability and control. As you lower your body toward the ground, multiple muscle groups work together to keep your body in alignment. Your functional strength also benefits from doing push-ups. But if you don't know what functional strength is, functional strength is the strength it takes basically for you to perform all your daily activities. I'm going to give you a couple examples. If you want to get better at swimming, do push-ups. If you want to get better at climbing, do push-ups. If you want the ability to get off the floor after playing with your three-year-old for too long, do push-ups. If you want to be able to carry the groceries in in one trip, you guessed it, do push-ups. As you can see, this workout is great for functional training. And as a side note, something else push-ups is great for is muscle growth or hypertrophy. Therefore, whether you're a complete beginner or a true athlete, adding push-ups to your workout program is a right fit for you. Now you have a general idea on how push-ups can transform the body and create upper body strength. But what I bet you don't know is that this movement is also an effective core exercise. When doing a push-up, it's important that you get your core tight and under control. If you're unable to keep your core tight throughout the movement, the rest of the body will be unable to keep up with the exercise. It's necessary to engage all the core muscle groups when performing this workout. The more you practice, the stronger your core will become. If you're having difficulty strengthening your core muscles, practice developing strength in the plank position first. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in learning more about the plank. So here's a bit of depressing news. Something no fitness enthusiast wants to hear. As we get older, not only does our muscle mass decline, but so does our bone density. It's a part of life. But resistance training can help curve the inevitable. On the bright side, push-ups are just as effective as any other resistance workout in curbing the body's natural decline in bone loss. So if you're looking for a way to strengthen and build your bones, look no further than daily push-ups. Once you start doing push-ups, you're going to realize your posture and flexibility will start to improve. Doing push-ups every day can improve your flexibility since it involves stretching the back muscles. Likewise, at the bottom of the movement, your chest and shoulder muscles are in a stretched position, helping create and maintain flexibility in the upper body. If you're someone who sits all day long or has a lifestyle that's not active, the effects of push-ups will really be prevalent since your core and upper body are not used to this type of stimulation. If you're looking to lose some weight, Push-ups can help with that as well. Regular push-ups contribute to accelerating the metabolic rate by increasing or maintaining muscle mass in the body. Your body's metabolic rate will be increased, thus allowing you to burn more calories while at rest. Now, this goes without saying, but this does not give you the green light to down an entire sleeve of Oreos. An increased metabolic rate allows you to use the current calories more effectively and slow down your body fat gain. This is probably not the best time to add since I just took away the Oreos. But if you're enjoying this content, please hit the like and subscribe button. Push-ups are effective in strengthening the shoulder joint, which reduces the risk of injury. But in this case, doing more push-ups is not necessarily better. Doing push-ups responsibly can ensure long-term health for your shoulder and your upper body. Do push-ups in moderation, starting with just a couple of reps a day, then gradually increasing as you progress. This way, you can avoid overworking your muscles and your tendons. This also reduces the risk of injury, which is something we're gonna talk about in a minute. We mentioned a little earlier in the video that performing push-ups can increase your metabolic rate. You'll notice in almost any weight loss program, some variation of the push-up is included because it's a great way to burn more calories while making you lose weight faster. It uses a ton of energy and engages in numerous muscles in a short period of time, resulting in burning of more calories. As you've learned, 
Push-ups come with many benefits, but doing push-ups or any exercise is not without risk or health concern. In order to reduce the risk of injury, assess your fitness level. Do not attempt a push-up if you have previous injuries, not strong enough to do a proper push-up, or feel overworked. Let's go through the steps on how to do a push-up the right way. I'll include some small hints not many people are aware of to help you reach your goals faster. First, if you're a beginner and not strong enough to do a standard push-up yet, start with the wall push-up. Wall push-up is a vertical variation of a regular push-up that puts less strain on the joints, and it's a perfect stepping stone for beginners who still haven't mastered the traditional push-up yet. If the wall push-up is too easy, progress to an incline push-up. You can use a box or bench that will help increase the difficulty a little bit. A knee push-up is a traditional push-up except placing your knees on the floor. This decreases the difficulty of the workout, allowing you time to build up to the traditional push-up. Now let's talk about the proper mechanics for a traditional push-up. For starters, the push-up starting position is the plank. Hands shoulder width apart on the floor, feet extended back, and your body should be in a straight line. Your core and glutes should be tight throughout the entire movement. Now once in position, lower your body to the floor, allowing your elbows to flare out in a 45 degree angle from your body. So many individuals want to extend their elbows almost 90 degrees in line with the shoulders, which is incorrect. Once your body is touching the ground, push back up to the starting position and your entire body should come up at the same time. Here's a tip for getting the most from a standard push-up. When performing the push-up, try using your hands to squeeze the floor closer together throughout the movement. Now, of course you won't be able to, but this is going to cause your chest muscles to contract similar to a cable fly. If you're able to do a traditional push-up with ease, here are a few variations you can try. Number one, the decline push-up. This variation focuses more on the chest and shoulders because it involves putting your feet on an elevated surface, such as a box or a bench. Now in this video, I used a tire flip. It put my body in a much deeper angle, making it more difficult than the standard push-up. Number two, the dead stop push-up. The dead stop push-up variation adds a little more difficulty to the traditional push-up. The dead stop push-up removes the stretch reflex from the movement that allows you to bounce back up so quickly. In this variation, you will lower yourself to the bottom of the movement, rest, lift your hands off the floor to ensure you stop and remove the stretch reflex. Place your hands back into position and continue for the rest of the movement. Number three, the Spider-Man push-up. The Spider-Man push-up happens to be my favorite push-up. It's great for burning fat and building muscle. In this push-up, you want to raise your knees up to the side of your arm during the downward movement. Drive back up while returning your feet back into the starting position. Once you're ready, repeat the movement on both sides. As you can see, the Spider-Man push-up puts additional emphasis on your core muscles. Thank you for watching. I hope you were able to see exactly what was wrong with the push-up that we showed in the beginning of the video. If you found this information helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting and informative content.